this work is called water up. So basically, I'm using 2,500 of uh, each single paper and to install on the uh, uh, applied wood. So basically, you can see from the far away, from the distance. So basically, I want to uh, I want to make the work of the Chinese three-dimensional Chinese paintings, like uh, you can see here. It's like a, a ink, a ink drop on the paper, so really come come out to the paper. So it's like also refer back to the Chinese painting. It's like ink, just only ink and water and paper. Where I'm using the different kind of material. Well, it's a paper, then to kind of curvy to curve the paper. So we'll create a different kind of uh, really soft, subtle feeling. Okay, so this this series work it's a called Guggenheim Museum work. Basically the experience I was working at the Guggenheim Museum New York. I was working there as a selling ticket. That's my position. So basically I was working there for Monday to Friday and every day eight hours. But uh, I was really, uh, I was, I feel really bad when I was working there because every day I saw the masterpieces on the, on the upstairs and I'm downstairs selling my ticket. And I was like, damn, I won't come to New York to be a great artist, not just sitting downstairs in the selling ticket. So I had a joke always with my coworker, which is I will write my name and also the solo exhibition, my solo, like, it's like a fantasy, like a dream. So I will write down on the ticket and to pretend I have the dream. I have a solo show at the Guggenheim Museum. So everyone is like laughing at it, say, oh my god, that's that's funny. And I was like, okay, that's a joke. But the one day I realized, if this is my dream, if this is what I want, why do I, why can't I just use it a ticket as my create, as my medium? So I had a proposal to the Guggenheim. So about two months later, they say, okay, uh, you can use the ticket because it's a blank. So basically, you have to write a really formal letter. Say, I will, I will not sell the ticket to black market. So they will allow me to use the ticket as my my work. So I start to working. So this work is called Peach Punch, and also they are using as a Guggenheim Museum ticket. And basically, it's a it's called it's a punch. I using a a, a tool as a punch. So I basically, I lay out on the floor first, and I punch each one different. So it's kind of like they have on the side it's punched, and uh, right here it's punched. So everything is punched. Because you know, selling tickets also with a punch. So uh, I'm just having fun with this piece. So right here you can see. So those are the you have a name on the museum, the Guggenheim Museum. So it's uh, it can you can show it's a real ticket, it's not fake. And like those punch, usually you have a like just run the punch. But this punch are using it's like a flower shape. So it's a little bit different. Because my mother is a florist, so always I my in my family they always have a flower around in my living room. So uh, in New York, it's pretty expensive if you buy one flower. So I got nothing to I don't have money to buy it. So I kind of you know want to have a, my own garden, but I can't. So I kind of shifting this kind of feeling to my work. So this is like the flower punch and with my whole life. So this work, it's a uh, continuously my own garden fantasy. So I want to have a, a garden in, when I was in New York, but I can't because everything is too expensive. So right now this one I created kind of like a, 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 a kind of like a house, a glass house. So like inside I have my garden, my fantasy, and here it's like a landscape, but it's still continuously, you know, my dream, my life all combined together. So right here, uh, again, you can see very clearly, clearly, this is a Guggenheim Museum ticket. And this one, I want to create a landscape, also like whole park. So when I was working at the Guggenheim, 
walk around on the Fifth Avenue, beside this Central Park. So every day when I was really tired, you know, I finished the work, I have to deal with crazy tourists every day, and the only thing I can do is go to the Central Park and just relax, and to enjoy the flower, to enjoy my life, then, oh, you know, it's like a relief. So when I'm making the work, I'm kind of bring back to my experience, to my to my work, kind of, you know, because New Year was too crazy. So just kind of like a way to to dreaming, you know, it's my dream right here.